I'm Mr. Grinler, and here are my creatures. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Grinless Creatures but on today's episode we have another package from Skinny Legs Tarantulas. Yes, Skinny Legs Tarantulas, probably one of my favourite places at the minute to shop. They've got some awesome teas. I've got the box just down here. Which is here, Skinny Legs. Wee. <laughs> so yeah, honestly awesome. If you haven't used Skinny Legs then... I advise you to use them. Watch some of my previous videos. I got some unboxings from them and the service every single time has been absolutely great. So in this box just here, there is some very, very nice stuff. Or well, I think it's nice anyway. One, there is a female in there that I've wanted for ages, honestly ages. And two, there's a package in there for Craig as well. So Craig orders some tarantulas and I must say I'm utterly jealous. I don't even want to say it, but it's something, yeah, it's a pair of something that I've wanted for ages, and Craig knows that I've wanted it for ages, and he's bought it, so you know what, I'm actually quite happy, because at the end of the day, at least we still get to pair it down the line. So obviously, Craig will be coming over in a bit to come and collect his tarantulas, and I've got mine to do as well. So I'm going to, you know, set up the table, because the table's an absolute mess. Uh, I'm going to get everything ready and you know, then we're going to have a look at my tarantulas. We take Craig's out. Once again, I don't think Craig's going to mind if we, you know, just show what he's got, the names of it, etc. Because I'm, I'm dying for you guys to know. Honestly, I'm dying. But yeah, let me set up the table and then we'll hit this off. Oh, and Craig, just know I hate you. I honestly hate you. You're breaking my heart here, dude. Breaking my heart. Okay, so unfortunately, like the lemon that I am, I ended up recording all of this in fast motion and cancelling out all the audio. So I'm going to have to talk over the top of this, and I've sped it up, I've slowed it down, uh, just a little bit for you guys, just so we can actually get through unboxing this. But Skinny Legs Tarantulas, uh, I know I say it a lot, but they're probably like one of my favourite sellers at the minute. I just, I don't know, I don't know what it is about them, I just absolutely love them. Uh, the selection of teas that they've had since you know the whole brexit thing and stuff like that it, it's been really good for the uk and uh yeah it, it's great it's nice to see all the uh, trenches on there and it's nice to see that they're, they're getting a lot of attention as well so here's the letter from them and this is one of my favorite things so it says hi Jaden. thank you for your order great to have you as part of the family here is your order so the harpacteria pulchropes female 11 centimeters uh, Kilobrachys SP Electric Blue Pair, 6cm, which is actually Craig's. And then we got 2 times Ephibosis, Sinagon Athens, I've <laughs> butchered it. And Kilobrachys SP Electric Blue, 2cm. And then it says Sweeties. So we hope that you are happy with everything. And again, thank you for your order and support. If you have any other questions, issues or concerns, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Kindest regards. And it will be from Lucian and Emma absolutely great so the Kilobrachys SP electric blue pair uh, Craig has actually ordered that but there's a little twist to that and I will tell you that later on now can I just say these sweets are such an extra added bonus to this package and it actually made me very happy so thank you for putting them sweets in like, honestly I mean it Okay, so like I said, I'm going to eat these very, very soon. Um, I'll probably share them with Craig, but let's have a look at these. Right, so H, Polkrapes, female, Jaden, potentially paired. So he did actually ring me up and explain this, and 
yeah, I'm not going to go into it, but it may in fact be potentially paired. <laughs> um, we have got some slings just down here. So we're going to rest the slings for a sec. And then there should be Craig's electric blue pair just here. Right there. Look at that. Right, so I'm going to set up these tanks. Hopefully Craig will get here by then as well. And then we can crack on with this. So to kick it off, we're going to start the Harpacteria pulchropes, the golden blue leg baboon. And I hope I said that name right, the scientific name. Really do hope I did. If I did, drop it down in the comments or drop it down in the chat, let me know. But this is the tank that this tarantula is going to go inside. So for the substrate, I've used a mix of cocoa fibre, topsoil and excavated clay where it's all dried out, all mixed together. I've got bits of cork bark inside, I've got some moss inside as well, but the moss is dry because, you know, the Harpacteria pulchropes is a dry species. And to be honest, it's actually a fossorial species as well, but they can live terrestrial at the same time. So I have seen people do, you know, Harpacteria pulchropes enclosures all different ways. So arboreal, terrestrial, fossorial, or even fossorial slash arboreal and fossorial slash terrestrial and they thrive in it. So for this one, you know, with limited tanks and that, I'm gonna go with more of a terrestrial style for a good couple of months, um, because I don't wanna rehouse her again and disturb her, because you know, she might potentially be paired. So this is the enclosure that I'm going for, but I would advise anyone to, to go with a fossorial slash terrestrial one to start with, so if it has the option to burrow if it wants to, and you know what, it will. If given the opportunity, it will burrow. But this tank, now that it's webbed it all up and, and stuff like that, it's just absolutely great. It's fantastic to look at. And I will, you know, show it on my social media soon. So my Instagram, my Facebook, my TikTok after this video is released because I've been racking it up and I can't wait to show you guys. Now rehousing this female, so this is actually Craig handling the pot right now, but we did not think that she would be this big. And if you look closely, you can see her fangs right here, and it's just absolutely fantastic. Look at that, so close to Craig's fingers. But what's even better, and just, you know, give it a couple minutes and you'll see. But she is absolutely beautiful. Just look at the colors on her. It's, it's fantastic. Of, oh. You know what, if, if these could live communally, oh, they'd beat Balfouris, I'm sorry I said it. I shouldn't have said that, my bad. And of course, Craig goes in to try and handle this. So this is actually a species that Craig has not handled before. And we were talking about this the other night and I was saying, Craig, the amount of species that you've actually handled, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like some really 
nutty old worlds and then you know terrestrial ones as well and I'm not saying that Craig just deliberately handles the majority of the old world just go on and, and yeah but <laughs> one day I will do a video because I'll take photos and I'll record every single one I will do a whole video of Craig just you know just handling tarantulas it's it, I hate I, I don't want to do it myself because I hate it but I just love seeing it it's just absolutely stunning and I know that Craig isn't trying to harm his tarantulas, and I know he's, he's not trying to hurt them, so you, you know, you gotta give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. And now to show you some awesome macro footage of this absolutely beautiful Harpacteria pulchropes, the golden blue leg baboon. Just absolutely fantastic. And I do apologise, this was the first time using my actual macro lens, my new one. Um, all the channel members and Patreon members would know uh, I've been saving up money and I managed to get the uh, macro lens, so thank you very much. But I was messing around with the settings. And uh, yeah, that's why it's a bit blurry around the outside. So it's like this for about two more videos. And then it, it goes back to some clear, uh, crisp imaging. But this is still absolutely fantastic. She is, I can't, I just, I look at her and I'm just like, wow. Uh, honestly, I, I think, I think this is gonna sway my mind to uh, go away from Balfour. No, it's not, it's not, what am I talking about? <laughs> The Killer Bracky species electric blue. So there is one little surprise and that is that Couch Rock Arachnophobia has actually gifted me these Killer Brackies SP electric blue for my birthday. So I want to say a massive thank you to Couch Rock Arachnophobia. He is actually currently sat in the other room so he can probably hear me. Can you hear me Craig? Nah, he's deaf isn't he? Old man. Old man egg. <laughs> but yeah, I want to say a massive thank you Craig. Honestly, thank you very much. But now, let's have a look at the Killer Brackies SP Electric Blue Pair. I'll take back what I said as well. So for this juvenile pair of Killer Brackies Species Electric Blue, I've chosen these two enclosures. And the Killer Brackies Electric Blue are actually a fossorial species, so I've given them a good couple of inches of dirt, which is topsoil. There's some moss inside, a water dish and some cork bark. So what will happen with these is, you know, they're going to the enclosure, they're going to web the whole top up. So, uh, you know, killer brackies, they love to web and the, the, the enclosures look absolutely fantastic. And then they're just going to burrow as well. So to kick things off, we're going to start with the female. And this female is actually molding my possession and I will add a photo at the end of this. 
but this female gave us the run around like the proper run around and I can't wait to show you this footage just just watch it you're gonna be absolutely stunned So like I've said, this female here, so she's not actually showing the colours because, you know, she's too small at the minute. But where she has molted in my possession already, the colours, um, oh, uh, like I said, I'm going to add a photo at the end of this. But the colours are absolutely insane and I can't wait for it to molt a couple more times because it's going to be even better.
And now for the Mao Kilobrachi species electric blue. And now we go on to the slings. So we've got the Kilobrachi species electric blue, and we've also got the Ephibosis cyanogamaphens. I always butcher it, but the blue fang tarantula. And you know what? The blue fangs are absolutely stunning, and I can't wait for you to see this footage. The the Kilobrachi uh, species electric blue slings are, are pretty dull and quite honest, but yeah, the the blue fangs are just what well, they're they're on another level. See what I mean? It's just your average plain boring tarantula. Just wait until you see that blue thing.
hope you can now see what I mean, just the, the colours on it, the, the blue fang, the feet, it's just absolutely beautiful. One of my favourite slings along with the GBB in my opinion. Right, so that is all the footage for today's episode. I want to say a massive thank you to Couch Rock Arachnophobia for doing what he does. And honestly, some of that footage was absolutely insane. So I'm sorry it's a bit of a long episode, but, you know, I, I didn't want to cut a lot of that out because it was just... I was editing it and I was just like, oh, love it. Absolutely love it. So I really do hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, then smash that like button, drop a comment for me because it helps. And if you haven't, then hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. Don't forget, guys, I've got Patreon now, five different tiers. So if you want to help and support the channel, there's a link down in the description. But I want to say a massive thank you to every single Patreon so far. So, Mr. Grinland's done here, so are my creatures, so are my Balfouris, and so are all the new tarantulas. I'll do an update video for you guys very soon for these tarantulas, and there will be some pictures, like I said, on social media and some videos. But have a great week, guys. You deserve it. Peace. Peace.